Welcome back, folks, to another episode of 2230. Today, we've got a fiery update that's been making waves in the Lion City, the defamation suit filed by Law and Home Affairs Minister Mr. Shunmugam, and Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Vivian Bolakrishnan against Lee Xian Yang, son of Singapore's founding father, Lee Kuan Yew. If you haven't already, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to stay informed on the latest news and happenings in Singapore. Now, let's dive right into this legal showdown. It's not every day that two prominent ministers sue a member of the Lee family, so you know this case is seriously hot. The hearing is set for Tuesday, September 5th, at 9am. Mark your calendars, folks. The ministers have enlisted the formidable legal team from Davinder Singh Chambers, led by the renowned senior lawyer Davinder Singh himself. This legal eagle has handled high-profile defamation cases in the past, including those involving Prime Minister Li Xianlong, so it's safe to say that team minister means business. The legal process is fascinating. First, they'll need to serve the summons on Li Xianyang. If they can't locate him, they can apply to serve it through unconventional methods like email, social media, or newspaper ads. Singapore's legal system, always adapting to the digital age. But here's where it gets juicy. If Li Xian Yang fails to defend himself within the given time frame, the ministers can go for a default judgment. This means they could secure a victory and seek compensation. We're talking big money here, folks, with claims usually starting at 250,000 Singapore dollars. Ouch! Now, let's rewind a bit and talk about why this lawsuit is happening in the first place. Li Xian Yang accused the ministers of corruption and receiving special treatment from the Singapore Land Authority, SLA regarding an authorized tree felling and state-funded renovations at 26 and 31 Ridout Road. The ministers have flatly denied these allegations and demanded a retraction, apology, and damages. If Li Xianyang doesn't comply, they're gunning for a lawsuit. But the plot thickens. Li Xianyang claims that he never accused the ministers of corruption or personal gain. He argues that his original statement merely pointed out that two ministers leased state-owned mansions from the agency, felled trees, and received state-sponsored renovations. He's not backing down and is adamant that he won't issue a false apology for words he didn't utter. Folks, this case is like a Singaporean legal drama playing out in real life. What do you think? Do the ministers have a solid case, or is Li Xian Yang justified in his defense? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's have a lively discussion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with 2230. Thanks for tuning in.